Have you ever walked past your coworker in the office and not said a word? Well, it depends on how many times uh, you well, go by the person. Not the first time. Not the first time. You always say hello the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've had coworkers not do it to me and also management. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. they don't know our names, so it's, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's true. In yeah. the past. Yeah, it's easier for call them. call me Jeremy when it was Jared. That's mm-hmm. fine. It's just easier if they don't get to know you. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, yeah. you know, makes it less complicated. You're, you're number 24. <laughs> I don't even know if they know that. <laughs> but it turns out there are unspoken office rules, and the, the unspoken one is when you pass somebody for the very first time, you are to say hello. Oh, yeah. You are, or mm-hmm. what's up? Hey, whatever Head it nod, is, yeah, something. something. Acknowledge so, them. But if you pass them the second time, the third time, the fourth, you just can ignore them. Yeah. Really? Like, what are you yeah. doing? The, Get out the hall. second time, if and it depends on how long. But mm-hmm. if it's the second time and it's within like thirty minutes, sometimes it'd be like like a, a like a nod up, like hey, like, yeah, like not like a. I think the first time I'm more formal, like hey, what's up? Hi, hey, you know, more formal, right? Yes. And then the second time is like kind of a little. <laughs> Even like a little <laughs> fake laugh because oh we just <laughs> ran into each other again. Mm-hmm. And then the third time is like it's so embarrassing. Let's not make eye contact. Yep. Just <laughs> yeah. stare at the wall. Pretend yeah. like you're on your phone something. What do you do because the way our office is laid out here at the radio station is like we'll walk by people's offices that don't have doors on them mm-hmm. or their doors are open at least now. Oh, yeah. And do you are you supposed to stop and say hello or the, or you get a free pass just to go right by? I think y- if it's the first time that you've seen them or like they're, they're on the they're computer they don't see you maybe just walk by oh they don't see you you don't have to say anything no okay. but you could but. do a, a, hey. lot, a lot of times like it, this is a very good one let's say somebody's in the office mm-hmm. and then you're walking by and he's in the distance let's say jared for instance i'll be like hey jared and keep walking so by the time they say hey i'm already past visible sight for mm-hmm. to have the I conversation like that. Yeah. i like that yeah. i like the walking hey, what's up yeah. the drive by yeah mm-hmm. hey yes. good morning <laughs> you know. what's up drew yeah yeah you keep walking i do that mm-hmm. every day to drew and, and, up, and then i just mm-hmm. keep walking and if tripper had an office i would be sprinting by yeah. and he would be chasing <laughs> he would be chasing after me hey, you and tackle me to make sure we come <laughs> and say hello <laughs> we wouldn't put him in an office where any of that was visible yeah. you know because it just would nothing would get done if i'm you're just kidding he's new, a very nice guy tripper is one of the nice people on earth but if you're new to the show or station, he will corner you and mm-hmm. talk to you for four hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And follow. He'll follow you out mm-hmm. to your car. You'll be rolling up your windows. He's like, put your, his hand in the window to stop it. And he's like, anyway. So <laughs> <Yeah>. then, <laughs> Did I tell you about this time? The Denver Broncos. And right. you're like, okay. Yeah. He's super nice, though. Yes, he is. But he has his talkers on 24-7. Always. I definitely mm-hmm. come in before on the weekend to like record something. And he's in here. Or at night, I should say. Yeah, and he's yeah. in here doing a show. And I will purposely, if I have to get something, on, I, I will go in down the stairs to go under the studio <laughs> yes. wow. to, to the bottom up, floor just because like if i don't have time mm-hmm. like, that's gonna... a lot from jared if he's going to do that extra exercise oh yeah. trust me yeah. i'm like oh, yeah. where's the elevator in this place <laughs> there's not one i think by the way aren't you supposed to have an elevator we got grandfathered it... in oh we that. did oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like that's how we do here it's just like we're always just <laughs> we're got right yeah. on, under the under the wire always all right so other unspoken office rules that you probably are breaking because you don't even know they exist. Uh, If you have been in a meeting forever and the person who is leading the meeting says, okay, anything else? Keep your mouth shut. Yes. Agreed. Keep your mouth shut. What if it's important? It's not. It's not. (laughs) Yeah. If it was important, it would have been on the agenda and it would have already been addressed. It could have been brought up or there there was a window at some point for you to bring Mm -hmm. that up earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So just (laughs) word to our sister station. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. It's kind of mm-hmm. akin to when you're in school and the teacher's like, all right, that's it. And then that's one it. person goes, you didn't assign any homework. Uh, and you're like, oh, oh, for real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's right. Okay, okay, now read chapters 14 through seven. You're like, seriously? You look at this kid like, mm-hmm. Tony, you did it again. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, another unspoken office rule that you're probably breaking, never reheat something smelly like fish. Oh, It's been very difficult for me oh. not to do that because of the Mediterranean oh, yeah, right. yeah. style. Now, I will say this. Like, you know, Josie lost her mind one time when I... And, and rightfully so. You it was heated bad. up scallops. Well, I oh. did it, I did it, it again. Stunk. Nobody knew. So it, it depends. There's secret ways now I've gone about <laughs> trying to heat up secret either shrimp ways. or scallops. Because fi- that's what I'm eating 90% of the time is seafood. What is a secret way? You, I keep the cap on. Mm-hmm. Pretty tight and only have a small little vent. And then as soon as it's done, I stand right by it. I lock it down like one of your fancy Tupperware dishes. Yeah, that you have. yeah. I, I lock, lock it down. And I go, 
and then I eat it in a distance somewhere, like in, in the, the woods. courtyard, like out back. In a yeah. distance, yeah. <laughs> he goes in the woods, he goes, sits in his car, he gets up in a treehouse. And then what I do is I eat the scallops like right away, uh-huh. or the shrimp right away, and then if it's rice or beans or something like that, then I bring it back. In. Okay. So scallops in a microwave. I don't think mm. it's the, the they're preferred already, heating They're method. already kind of hit or miss, like being chewy. Yes. They, they get a little, I'm sure. Well, yeah, yes, it, it, I've, since I've been doing scallops more often, there's a definitely a spe- specific time or else they get too well done. Here's one thing that I also do. If it's, let's say I just made the scallops last night. Mm-hmm. And I'm eating it at 11 o'clock this morning. The next day, I don't even, I don't even microwave the scallops. I just eat it. Cold. Oh, cold. Yeah. Mm. That way they don't smell at all. And to Jared's point, they don't get You're rubbery. Chewy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. If you like a cold scallop, which I don't think I've ever had one, yeah. but okay. It's, it's okay. A cold one? I think there's like sometimes they have the small ones in salads sometimes that are cool. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, I, and then they, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Katie. I, well, I'm also guilty of this. And yeah. I, because I do pack my lunch a lot. And it will include like whatever we had for dinner the night before, We're like broccoli, and yeah. that stinks. Brussels oh, yeah. sprouts, that stinks. Yeah, I, a, I think I brought maybe a piece of salmon left over, and I thought, oh, this is pushing it. Oh, I've mm. done it all. But yeah. well, we've all and we've all been on different mm-hmm. whatever. Jay, well, I guess the Mediterranean, but like that includes a lot of hard boiled eggs. Eggs, yeah. Like, Oof, yeah. stinks. Mm. Woo, yeah. So that's the unspoken rule. Well, I noticed rule. somebody had. Um, Eggs down there, uh, deviled eggs. It was going to be a surprise for later, but I did make. I made a. Oh, ton I love deviled eggs. I do too. A deviled eggs today. I brought them. Really? So yes. yeah. when are you going to awesome. plan on giving me the surprise? Because we have lunch coming up too. That's what I was going to give them to you. Oh, at lunch? Yeah. Can oh, eat them it now? would be much better you can eat them now? for a snack in the morning go and get then a surprise. Somebody go get Squid, them. go get them. Yes, they're in the fridge. Yeah. I'm going to pop a deviled oh, egg right before yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah. I mean. I will eat what? a double yes. egg at 3 a.m. Yes, Matt anytime. doesn't like, Matt doesn't like uh, yeah, eggs. I don't like eggs. eggs. I don't like, like eggs. eggs. I'm good. Oh, and, my God. But like, still. Eggs are my top five best food ever in I, history. Yeah. They Potatoes are, so, are number one. Yeah. <laughs> deviled eggs yeah. are money, dude. And so I made these deviled eggs, just as a side note, since we're talking about them now. Um, I made a top, like, I hard-boiled 12 eggs, made, obviously, the 24. And then I forgot to put them out at, the thi- at my little get-together with my Perfect. sister. That's good and for so us. by then, everybody had already, it was like, there were too many. So yeah, yeah. I said, there's no way. And Ben doesn't eat them, except I will have you know. I think he was maybe trying to get some action or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but he went over unsolicited, unprovoked at my sister when my sister came into town, the, the uh, barbecue, and ate a deviled egg on his own. And I have never been more turned on in my life. Wow. He Man, did that that's for all me. The bar is so you low at your know. house. It is, but you don't know. He does not. Like he has to wear gloves when he's touching meat on the bone. Oh. He does not oh, eat double eggs. Is he drinking? Yeah. Okay. He had to. But <laughs> that's his that's Ben's definition of lowering his inhibitions. <laughs> <laughs> it's eating the double That's egg. where he goes. He gets drunk. He's like, yeah. I'm going to touch this food without gloves. No, he still wore the gloves. <laughs> but he did eat the double egg, and I was like, thank you. Did he that... say to give you a compliment? Oh, yeah. He said it was good. Uh, Matt, back mm-hmm. to the egg thing, because it's I'm having shocking. one right now. Please. Um, mm-hmm. Do you not eat scrambled any type of egg? No, it's a textured thing for me with eggs. Yeah, but there's, mm-hmm. it's different texture depending on how you cook it. Yeah, th- I don't Love like it. the good. runniness. Like I don't like the, the smell of like a hard-boiled egg. Oh, and then well. scrambled eggs are too, like... They're too, the texture is just weird for me. Yeah. That is shocking. And for the record, um, Katie, Yeah. I mean, I like egg salad sandwiches too, but too. I like eggs just chopped up with, I hate to say it, a little mayonnaise and salt and pepper. It's really good. It <laughs> tastes mm. something different. I gotta, it's just like uh, this. I know. I have to mash them up. Um, mm. By the way, the secret ingredient in there is jalapeno. Mm. And jalapeno, and jalapeno oh, juice. A little bit of spice. Mm-hmm. Great. I feel mm-hmm. like I can smell it through the microphone. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't. Delicious. I don't smell them. There's not really a smell to it. I don't, I don't smell know. Them in I, here. Maybe it's Slide. just seeing it. Dang, those are good. Maybe those it's like really igniting good. a smell in my brain. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. <laughs> You're Ugh. welcome. Very so good. delicious. You're welcome. And the I love the jalapeno chopped up. Yes. In, in it. In yep. it. And Very the juice. Good. You got to add the juice. Got to have the juice. And then you take. What's the juice? It's the, oh. the jalapeno juice. Oh, oh. oh so pic- yeah. pickled jalapeno. Yep. And then you take Ooh. the pickled carrot and then you slice them and then you just do a little garnish on top. I love that. Very good. Thank you. Um, okay, other unspoken office rules that you're probably breaking. <laughs> Do not be, although I think we're all going to be right now, the smelly person at work. Yeah. Said if mm-hmm. your odor is more than pungent, they're suggesting that you invest in perfume or cologne, but I don't, uh, I don't no, think no, no. so. It can be too much. Because perfume or cologne is meant to be discovered, not announced. That's always something oh, my mother yeah. oh, Always oh. a yes. rule that my, my mother and father have instilled. It's like if you are announcing your presence with your cologne, 
too much. Yeah, and it has to be. I, I get. I start sneezing if somebody has yes. a, a lot of cologne or perfume on. But I will say this: if you're having to put cologne on, there's another problem somewhere before that. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just trying to cover up smell with smell. Mm -hmm. just, you need to stop the smell at the beginning in the first place. You need mm -hmm. to shower, mm -hmm. and you need to wear clean clothes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. That's it. That's why you, Jared and I do the, the smell test on the jeans before we wear them. Every time. Even if it's, even it's it came out of the wash so or the dryer, gross. I still smell the... Just making sure. The now, butt crack, just in case. Would mm. you say... Because I don't oh, think this... I just got so gross. Uh, I don't think this sticks around forever. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that uh, that Axe... I don't use it. Uh, I would use it, I think. Axe body spray counts because that seems to be mm. very... You can spray a lot on it at first, you smell it, but then it goes away quickly. Oh, I think the opposite. I feel like you can smell it coming from not, a not mile away. Not compared cologne. Oh. Cologne sticks around. It's a big, strong. If you put ax, if I put ax body, body spray on me in the morning and I came here, I don't have any because I don't have any. Yeah. Um, I don't think you smell it. Or do you just yeah. get used to it? No, I get that part too. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Kind of like the old ladies, because as you get older, your your uh, smell function mm -hmm. gets uh, yeah. weaker and weaker. Well, and, it's just like when you have cats in the house, and at first, it, you, you, it, no, and nobody else. You don't smell it anymore, and then all of a sudden somebody comes in from the outside and they smell it right away. Yeah, you just get acclimated to it. I've done that definitely with my own perfume, where I've sprayed it, and then eventually I don't, like I don't smell, smell it, it at all. Yeah. yeah, you know. But or you, or you forget you put it on, and it's gone, and then somebody's like, "Oh, you smell good." You're like, "Oh yeah." Oh, do, I is cologne nice. in style still? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. Is it? I, I thought. I mean, I, I wear so, a perfume, yeah. a, like a well, body perfume, maybe. Yeah. But when's the last, you wear cologne, Jared? Yes, not at work. I mean, sometimes, but rarely. Mm -hmm. well, what do you wear it for? Like on a date? Okay. Or like going out or, you know, sometimes going to church because I'm in a suit all day and, mm -hmm. you know, just a little extra. Yeah. Makes you feel fancy. Yeah, a little fancy fancy. Little fancy. Wish my husband wore it more. I bought him some, but it's also he is, he showers every day. So I smell his like body wash and stuff. And my but, brother, yeah. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember, but it's like, he has like three ounces of it and it was like $400. Yeah. It's the best smelling stuff I've ever smelled, ever. Did you say it was Dracar? No, no. Dracar, Dracar Noir. Dracar That's Noir. Like I think I still have my Dracar <laughs> polo <laughs> obsession. Yes. Abercrombie Woods. Yeah, that was a good one. I had the Michael Jordan cologne. That's curve, what I wear. Curve, though, man. Curve. It, curve. Mm. Woo. Still to this day, even though it takes me right back to high school, it is still, I still enjoy the smell of it. You're not going to like this because I, I'm not saying anything about name brands, for God. Yeah, knows what, right. But, I believe, you know, a lot of these scent, I mean, you're you're paying, like, you, I get what you're saying, the $400 is the best scent you ever smell, but you're paying for just, like, a few chemicals mixed up together, and it smells good, and then, but the knockoff, a lot of times, is very close or similar, or it maybe even smells better for a tenth of the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I normally get my cologne at five and below, because they, they have, they have the... like, a section of knockoffs. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. thing is, they don't last as long. So if you spray it, it'll be gone like 30 minutes is as opposed to all day. Is the chemical last as long cost that much to increase the price of 400 I think it's the whale blubber or whatever they put like in the it. Like the oils, really? yeah. I think, uh -huh. are, are uh -huh. a better oil. Wait, there's whale blubber? Yeah. In yeah. I'm not doing mm -hmm. cologne anymore. I thought it was just whale. oil. Is it whale? Is it for real? Yeah. Whale blubber? That whale was, something. I guess it's oil. Yeah. 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 They're killing whales for cologne? Nah, I mean, the ones. <laughs> I only use one that Dime Natural causes. <laughs> the ones that wash up on shore. Those yeah. old Gosh. aged whales. Oh, yeah, the old Boy, they smell, smell good. good. It's called uh, rancid. They're aged. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how what they're doing. I've heard that. I don't know. Whale bubble? No way. I don't know. I, I know there's obviously <laughs> oils in it. I don't know where the oils come from. So it, when you spray Axe Body Spray, are you spraying, spraying whale blubber all I over? I don't know the if that's the same. Uh, I don't know. That is odd. You'll have to look it up. Mm. Cologne whale blubber. While Jared is looking up <laughs> <laughs> the ingredients in, in that. Okay, this is odd. Is it? Perfumes contain um, a substance also known as treasure of the sea and floating gold. Mm. And it, it's whale and poop. And it's whale, yeah. Oh, sorry, Matt. I stole what? the thunder. It's whale poop? Yeah. I'm sorry, Matt. I stole it could be whale poop. Some of it's whale vomit. It's ambergris. Mm -hmm. Ambergris. Yeah. Hmm. It's it used as the base note in perfumes and makes the scents last longer. So How awesome is that? Their dookie smells like real good. How did yeah, they figure wow. that Can you imagine? out? I don't know. And what are we doing? We're doing, hey, we're going to smell better by getting whale vomit and poop. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. awesome, man. It is says, there any other way? Yeah, we must smell bad to whales. <laughs> How do yeah. they have the body lotions? They smell pretty good. The shampoo sometimes and the hair. That smells a long time. That smells good. Is that all whale blubber too? Maybe. Maybe. Scientists theorize it leaves the whale's body with feces. Yeah. This the, ambiguous. How do you mm. even capture I don't know. whale throw up? Well, they're, yeah. they're in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's know. In, it's in the water. 
<clears throat> and then whales are spraying like human feces on them. Like, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, give me more. It this is nice. Katie Noir. <laughs> they just had deviled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, is that human blubber? Disgusting. <laughs> human <laughs> throw up. Girl, you smell good. Thank you. It's whale throw up. <laughs> Ew. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, uh, I just want to give you th- what I think uh, is <laughs> maybe the most important of the unspoken rules that you're probably breaking. Do not schedule meetings for first thing Monday or last thing Friday oh. or, in our case, 10.05. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, we're done. Yeah. We're done. That's just, that's a personal note. That is just a personal request that I'm finished. Yeah. Fr- Fridays yeah. are definitely, the to worst. me, the yeah. worst. Especially if it's like a meeting at four thirty mm-hmm. on a Friday, that's the worst because and a lot for a couple things. One, because you're you know I get the what looking for the weekend. That's also a time where like you're trying to make sure you can get out on time. Yes, and then you're you're behind and and then all of a sudden, oh my mm-hmm. gosh, I gotta go to this meeting. That's why I don't like it. Typically, I'd rather have one on Monday than on Friday. I'd rather have it on a Monday for sure. But when the meetings go, like let's say there's a meeting for the mo- like at three o'clock, right? Let's just say. The people who have to be there still until the five o'clock mark are the ones who make those times of meetings. Correct, because the, the, the later in the day it gets, the that's how you kind of adjust and, and yeah. eliminate something for tomorrow. But I like earlier meetings. Mm-hmm. But yes. Just get it over with. Yeah. Plus, on a Friday, if you have a late meeting, it's not going to be productive because no one wants to be there. Exactly. And so you're not getting the best ideas. You're not mm-hmm. getting people's full attention as as much. And just don't do it. Just don't.